Hello everyone. Today we're back on the trail in pursuit of delicious dim sum. Entering this little bistro, the smell of garlic was enticing. My mother used to joke that when you walk into a restaurant, they saute garlic because the aroma increases your appetite and makes you want to stay. Then when it's time for you to go, they saute garlic again because you're full and now it makes you want to leave. Today we're blown away by this wonderful hidden gem. Eating dim sum is one of our biggest obsessions and Chinese cuisine is something we just can't get enough of. Today, we found dim sum so good that just one bite of them is like a dream come true for those of us who dream of dim sum. We stumbled across what feels like a little slice of Hong Kong that's been transplanted into an unassuming cafe that awaits you here in Summerlin. We invite you to join us on this culinary adventure. We've been hearing about this place for so long and I'm really glad we finally made it here. Today, we're at the famed Dim Sum Cafe. They've been under new ownership for the last two years and the food is absolutely tremendous. They have a full menu. And during the week, you order as with any normal restaurant, but on weekends, they have a dim sum cart, but also encourage you to order anything you don't see on a cart. As is usually the case with dim sum, I began with tea. Today, I had this wonderful chrysanthemum tea. I love the palm sugar they give you. It's made from the sap of the palm tree. It has the texture of rock candy. I just love it. Also, as you probably know by now, I like to make my own dim sum secret sauce for dipping. It's vinegar, soy sauce, and chili oil. We're off to a great start with these hargao. Our server, Francis, tells us they make everything from scratch. Look how beautiful and picture perfect these hargao are. The silver cast of their shimmering skin that encases these beautiful little dumplings was lovingly prepared by hand in their kitchen. It's the work of a master chef to get these wrappings so transparent that you can also see the pinkish hue of the gorgeous shrimp in the interior. I purposely broke into this one so you can see the large pieces of shrimp on the inside. The shrimp have an exceptionally fresh, clean flavor, not at all fishy and lots of fresh garlic to enhance the prawns and boost the umami richness. These are by no means bland or boring. I could eat these till the cows come home. If you're new to our channel and you appreciate what we're doing, please like and even subscribe. It's free and assists the unseen machinations of the YouTube algorithm to help us stick around. Today, we have a shout out to a new VIP member, J.H. Welcome and thanks for supporting our channel. Enjoy the perks that come with membership. Collagen rich and glutinous in texture, the tendon here is so well seasoned with garlic and soy, cooked to the point where they melt in your mouth. They're such a healthy choice at dim sum. Many people are afraid to eat them because they resemble fat, but they're in fact quite low in fat. Though they start off tough, fibrous, and edible, after cooking them for long periods, they become soft, sumptuous, and are no longer chewy. Asians have used them in their cooking with noodles and stews for years. My mother also made an old Italian version that came from Italy. She would cook them many hours in the crock pot with chunks of brisket and a tomato sauce to make a wonderfully rich stew that she served over pasta. Here, they are perfect. I'm having such a good time so far. These steamed barbecue pork buns are made right here in-house from scratch. As we told you in a recent video, most of the buffets and many of the restaurants in Vegas don't make their own. They buy them pre-made in bulk. These buns are made here in the kitchen, and the char shu that fills them is also homemade and it's spectacular. Look how filled they are as well. The ratio of dough to filling is about 50-50. The char shu is so juicy, it has lots of sweet sauce. You barely need to dip them in anything. They have such a great flavor on their own. Of course, we can't resist dipping them in the hoisin sauce, and they're also great in the sauce I make. Lots of sweet honey, pineapple, and Chinese five spice. The pork is very tender. It falls apart, but still maintains the charred crunch on the outside of the pork fat. Look how beautiful these are on the inside. The dough is so light and yeasty, not wet at all from being steamed. Nice and fluffy. Just another top-notch dish. The daikon cake, always one of our favorites. But we've had them poorly made at many places now, with it coming out being way too fishy. 
When made properly, they shouldn't taste fishy at all. Sometimes they taste more like a fish cake than a daikon cake. These are right on the money. Just a hint of dried shrimp and a good amount of Chinese sausage. They're soft on the inside and slightly crispy on the outside. I wish they were a little more fried so they were really crispy. But that aside, they're a wonderful daikon cake. They're so great with my secret sauce. Mmm. One of our viewers noted that these were their favorite and that we never order them. So we decided to get the bean curd custard rolls this time. They are wonderful. I don't know why I don't get them more often, apart from the fact I've had some really horrible ones in my day. But these are great. The skins are nice and delicate, but made from a dried tofu. They still break apart gracefully in your mouth. The filling is nice and garlicky, and the pork has a salty savoriness. I'd get these anytime if they were always this fresh and good. These baked sweet cream buns are tremendous. When you bite into them, I just love the way they crumble. The exterior is nice and flaky, yet soft with a slightly sweet taste. The custard was not the consistency of hot burning lava, but in some ways, that's actually an advantage. You don't burn yourself or get runny custard all over your hands, clothes, shoes. The flavor is as good as any we've ever had, and I'll be dreaming of these buns for weeks. So far, everything here is first rate, no complaints. Another winner here in these baked barbecue pork buns. Just be careful, the shiny substance you see on the outside is drizzled honey, and it makes a mess of your fingers. The brioche type bun in these is truly nothing short of genius. They're so fresh, it's amazing. I would, however, have preferred them to not have the honey on the outside. If I order them again, I'm using a knife and fork to open and eat them to avoid sticky fingers and palms. All that aside, these are truly spectacular in flavor and probably one of the best we've ever tasted anywhere. We're going to have to come here for char shu on its own, since the filling of these is such a delightful rendition of the roasted meat. It tastes as though the pork has been sautéed in hoisin, honey, sherry, and pineapple, then stuffed into the dough and baked. You can smell the yeast and honey as you break them open. Then the beautiful char shu aroma hits you, like pow, right in the face. Wow, look how beautiful the filling is. They're so full. While some say the mustard ruins the flavor, on the contrary, I find it highlights the flavor, if done in the right proportion. Most people don't realize that true Chinese mustard is simply dry yellow mustard powder and water blended till it's the right consistency. Anyway, I could eat a hundred of these buns. They were just spectacular. Chai dumplings, one of our favorite dim sum dishes. Not to sound like a broken record, but again, these are terrific. Maybe better than any I've ever had and destined for a best of video. The dough on the outside is definitely homemade and it's perfectly glutinous. The perfect amount of chew and crispness from being fried after it was steamed. The flavors inside are harmoniously balanced. Just the perfect amount of garlic chives and crushed garlic. The prawns are nice and tender, not cooked to the point of no return. Moist and delightful, just perfect chive dumplings. If these are one of your favorites, I would advise against them here. Compared to most of the other items, they're somewhat of a fail. I prefer these to have a little char in them. These tasted boiled rather than fried. The filling is a good standard shrimp mix with garlic and the peppers are fresh. The sauce though is pretty weak in flavor. This type of dim sum tastes better with a black bean sauce than with this watered down cornstarch like gravy. Okay, enough said. I don't recommend these. Look how big these are. You can see the size compared to my hand. I'm six feet tall with large hands, and these are almost the size of my hands. Be really careful biting into them as well. They're piping hot. The flavor is sensational, and these are probably as good as any fried shrimp ball I've ever eaten. The mayo sauce is sweet and salty, and similar to the sauce you'd find on a honey walnut shrimp. They're a little hard to eat, but that's not a problem. I love all the crispy wonton shards that fly off as you bite into it. Look at how moist these are on the inside. The shrimp is so juicy and very well seasoned with white pepper and garlic. These are a must order when you come here. If you love shrimp, you'll adore these.
It always baffles me the way these are made. They're like little works of art. The outside is so airy and crunchy. There isn't a trace of grease on these beautiful dumplings. The web of crispy flakes makes a beautiful mess as the shards of pastry crumbles in your hands. The interior is a wonderful mix of mashed taro and delicious ground sautéed pork with lots of garlic. There's no shortage of flavor here, and they're not at all stodgy as these dumplings can sometimes be. Look at all the ground pork. So good, I wish you could taste them. They go great in my sauce or in the Chinese mustard. I hope you order these when you come here. You're going to love them. The chow mein is also part of the dim sum menu, and it seems to be pretty popular. You can see it on most of the tables around us. I love the texture of the noodles, and it's a well-made dish, but honestly, a little underwhelming. It lacks sauce, but that's an easy fix here. Just a little soy and chili oil, and it's perfect. But if you're looking for deep, rich flavor, then this dish is probably not for you. I'd recommend the beef chow fun we're about to tell you about. To create this dish, the chef must achieve a perfect balancing act between charring the beef and noodles without overcooking the pasta. This dish requires a burning hot wok to give it that flavor known as wok hay or breath of the wok. There's nothing worse than broken, overcooked noodles in my opinion. We have a good friend that gets this dish every time he goes to a Chinese restaurant. He's addicted to it. We texted him from the restaurant to tell him how good this was and he can't wait to come here and try it. This is probably one of the best beef chow funds in the city. You can see from the dark color how savory it is. The beef has no shortage of wok hay, and it's bursting with umami flavor from the soy and rich, deep drippings that coat each and every noodle. I highly recommend this dish. They call these deep fried meatballs. We call them little dim sum footballs. If you're ever at dim sum and you can't find what they're called in the menu, just tell your server you want the little footballs and they'll know exactly what you mean. The outside of these is nice and crispy and the inside is extremely glutinous. I was expecting them to be filled with ground beef since they call them meatballs, but they're filled with the wonderfully yummy char siu pork we've had in many of the other items today. These are spectacular. And because of the pork interior, the mustard lends itself so well to complement the flavor of the char siu. I highly recommend you get these. The bun on the steamed chicken bun is fluffy and glutinous. It's a well-made dough. And yes, they make it here in the kitchen according to our server. The chicken filling is wonderful, nice and garlicky with just a hint of spice. These go well with all the sauces. It's sort of a blank canvas that take on whatever flavor you dip them in. I'm glad we ordered them. We almost didn't get them as they seem just like a chicken version of a pork bun. They're definitely satisfying my craving for dumplings. I'll definitely order these again when we come back. Hotter than the inside of a volcano, so be careful not to burn yourself. Wow, these are fresher than fresh. The rice is very well seasoned with garlic and soy, and there's a lot of filling in these. Little bits of Chinese pork sausage and barbecue pork and roasted pork as well. There's multiple flavors going on inside these little wrapped treasures. I always love the woodsy flavor the lotus leaf imparts into the rice as well. It's almost a gaminess. These are possibly the best version of these we've had in Vegas so far. You won't be disappointed. I promise you. Well, everything we ordered today came out so quickly. But we've been waiting here forever for these pot stickers. I hope they're worth it. Okay, the moment of truth. They're pretty ordinary. Nothing to write home about. Certainly in this case, not worth the wait. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. They're obviously homemade. You can tell from the taste. But they're bordering on being a bit bland. A little smaller than most dumplings of the same variety that I've had at other dim sum houses. The chicken filling is pleasant, but these are your average dumplings and Nothing special by any means. While we usually order these rice noodle dishes at dim sum, as they're one of our favorites, given the wonderful char siu pork here, we were particularly excited to order this today. It's made with their homemade noodles and they roll their spectacular roasted pork into it. So how can this not be good? The delicate sweet soy that goes over it's a nice light sauce 
and you don't really need anything else to top them. I'm sure they're great here with any of the other fillings. In fact, I'm starting to think you can't go wrong with anything you order here. As I look around, I see people ordering all sorts of things not offered for dim sum. I think we need to come back to sample the entire menu. Anyway, make sure to order this dish. It's another winner. These shrimp, not as good as they look. They're even better. Wow, these prawns are just wonderfully moist and crunchy at the same time. You can taste that these are very good quality shrimp, fried to a golden brown, then perfectly seasoned with sauteed garlic and chopped green onions. These bits of garlic and onions are brilliant. The shrimp go wonderfully with the Chinese mustard as well as my special dipping sauce. They're extremely crispy and not at all greasy. There's no fishy taste whatsoever. These shrimp are just impeccably fresh. Just good, clean flavors and lots of garlic. If you love garlic as we do, this is a must try. Well, without question, Dim Sum Cafe is an undeniable hidden gem right within beautiful Summerlin. And while a bit farther from the Strip than Chinatown proper, it's well worth the trip. The new owners have done a terrific job of creating a friendly environment with top-notch, crepe-worthy dim sum, and at a reasonable price. It's no wonder they always have most of their tables taken right from the moment they open. While there were a few dim sum items that were less than perfect, there were many more which were fantastic and destined for a best of dim sum video. At many restaurants, there are just a few stars, but no supporting cast. Not so at Dim Sum Cafe. Here, they had their divas and a deep bench of wonderful character actors as well. The standout dishes today were the chive dumpling, the baked barbecue pork buns, and the fried shrimp ball. And while not technically dim sum, the beef chow fun was life altering. All of these and many others have been on my mind for days now, and we can't wait to return to explore more of their menu. If you seek top notch dim sum, then be sure to check out Dim Sum Cafe. You won't be sorry. And maybe you'll see us there. Either way, make sure to tell them Let's Eat Vegas sent you. I know we're all guilty of watching YouTube videos and not participating. As a reminder, please like, comment, subscribe, or even become a VIP member to our channel. It means a lot to us, and it helps us to grow and to bring you more reviews. Until we eat again, bon appetit.